Hello and good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Michaela, and today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. This one, I've done so many of these videos. I'll have a playlist. I should make a playlist of these videos. I'll link that down below when I make it. This video is going to be a anti-inflammatory diet, what I eat in a day. So essentially that means no dairy, no gluten. I don't eat soy. I don't really have like sugar. I have a little bit of sugar. I'm not eating any meat other than chicken and beef. And yeah, that's about all you need to know from me for this video. I've been on this diet now for about a month, about five weeks, and I'm actually going to the naturopath again today to see kind of like a follow-up. It's essentially just my next appointment. And so I have to see kind of, maybe we'll talk about what worked for me, what didn't, maybe if I'll change this diet or if I'll incorporate new things. I'm really crossing my fingers that I get to eat eggs again because I used to have eggs every single morning for breakfast and I haven't had them in five weeks. I've had them twice in baking because I cheated. But other than that, haven't really had eggs and I feel a little bit lost without them, not gonna lie. So anyway, I like to start off my day by taking my supplements. It's well into the day now, it's like 11.30. I kind of like unintentionally intermittent fast at the beginning of the day, so I don't really eat breakfast until quite a bit later. I am allowed to have one coffee a day and I kind of cheat and have two smaller coffees. So I'll have one now before I get into my breakfast and then I will have one like a little bit later into the afternoon. But for supplements, if you guys haven't seen my um, vlog where I talked about all of them, go check that out. It's like towards the end of the video. I'll have that video linked down below. But essentially I'm taking a liver support. I am coming off of my skin supplement one because I don't think it's working for me if you see my skin. It's, it's not good. Um, and then I also take a omega-3 fish oil in the morning. And then I've also been doing apple cider vinegar. And I like to take this about 15 to 20 minutes before I eat. Um, it's really hard to remember at night, but I always seem to do it well in the morning. And um, one of the questions I have for my naturopath today is if I'm allowed to take this by itself, because I got a few people saying that it can be harmful for, to your stomach if you just take it straight on an empty stomach, but she never said anything like that to me, so um, I'm gonna like just ask her about it today because this is usually how I do it. Bottoms up. If you guys have never taken apple cider vinegar straight or had it at all, it definitely doesn't taste good. I mean, some people like it, some people mix it with water. I just like, I'm not a big fan of like, cidery or vinegary things and so it took a little bit of getting used to but it's really not that bad and overall the biggest thing I've noticed this past month has been how much less bloated I feel which has been so good so for the fish oil I just put it on a spoon like this it tastes lemony I'm almost out of this so I'm wondering if I'll have to pick up another one um, this has been probably the easiest thing to take obviously and then this is just a pill so I take this one of these kind of do this all at the same time that way it's more of a routine and I don't really forget about things which is good and then for coffee as I mentioned I'm gonna do a Nespresso here so I have the Ascenza mini capsule machine that takes these little ones and so it makes a smaller coffee I'm sure it's like a stronger coffee I should know this but um, yeah I don't know I feel like when it's smaller, you can have two. So that's what I do, because I really like coffee and I didn't want to give it up. Let me quickly talk about creamers. I didn't realize that oat milk is not considered gluten-free because it makes sense. Not all oats are gluten-free. I didn't even think about that until one of you guys DM me. And so I'm gonna have to ask her about that today. Um, but if I'm allowed to have regular oats, I would definitely, or like regular oat milk, I definitely recommend this creamer. This is the Oat Yeah Silk Vanilla. It is so good. It does have sugar in it. It's four grams of sugar per one tablespoon, um, but it tastes so delicious. It is so good. This one is also an oat milk creamer, but this has no um, sugar in it. This is unsweetened and dairy-free, but it does have a French vanilla flavor from Nut Pods. And then if you're going like sugar-free, dairy-free, Real basic, but still tastes good. I definitely recommend this one from Califia Farms. It's their better half, unsweetened, and it's made with coconut and almond. Um, Gluten-free, vegan. Yeah, that one's like the most plain and probably the safest one for me to use, but I just couldn't believe that oat milk wasn't gluten-free, and I feel like I really messed up this month because I had no idea. It wasn't until the end that I realized that, so hopefully that's fine so i have my coffee ready i'm gonna go sit down do my makeup get ready for the day and then i'll come back and make breakfast in a little bit once the apple cider vinegar is all settled in my stomach <laughs> i'm back and i have makeup on and it's time for breakfast look at how big this avocado is i feel like it's huge they're from costco for breakfast i usually have 
one of two things and it's carbs. So if I'm having avocado toast, which I will be doing today, I like this bread. This is the millet and chia gluten-free bread. Looks like this. I don't know the brand. I don't know if that's the brand, but it's vegan, gluten-free, and it tastes really, really good. I really like it. I like my toast quite a bit like crisp. Um, and so you have to make sure you keep flipping it or else the inside is going to be a little bit on the mushier side just because it is kept in the freezer. Um, and then you guys have seen me talk about these, so I'm not gonna have one of these, but if you're looking for gluten-free options, this is an amazing one. This is Odo Bagels. This one is in sesame, it's vegan, gluten-free, and they're thin, so they're less carbs. Really, really good, can't get enough. These ones are the sesame ones. I've moved on from the everything bagel ones. I have those two, but they're equally good. But this goes better, I think, with almond butter in which I'd normally put on it, but avocado toast today. I always like to mash my avocado. I don't like putting just full slices on top of the toast. It's just not my thing. So I always put it in a bowl and smash it up first. And then I always try and have a piece of fruit or some fruit with breakfast. So we have some cherries that I have here, but we also have this big like flat of nectarines that I got at Costco. So I'll probably have one of these and cut it up. They're so good. I love nectarines so much. Editing Michaela here. I <laughs> realized while I'm editing this that I didn't hit record to show you guys the final product of my breakfast. So here is what it looked like. It was just avocado toast with everything but the bagel seasoning on top and a side of nectarines. That's all you missed. <laughs> all right, so I just got out of the naturopath, my second appointment, and I'm excited because I'm going to start introducing different food groups that I had completely taken out, like dairy. We're gonna try eggs. I'm also gonna try gluten and do it for like three days to see if I flare up or have any like sensitivities or different things, and then go off of it for a week to be able to try something else to see if I get flares from those things as well. So. I'm very excited to have eggs. I'm very excited to have French toast again. Um, just obviously as traits, she did say like most of the time, like 80% of the time, follow this diet. Don't have gluten, don't have dairy. And I do think that I am going to flare up when I do test these out. So anyways, I'm excited to like see what actually happens because it would be so great to know if it is dairy or if it is gluten or if it's both or anything like that. So um, that's kind of what we talked about. I'm also gonna be taking different supplements couple of them are staying the same. I'm staying on the fish oil and the magnesium and then I'm doing a couple others. I did tell her that I have lost a bit of weight. I've had a lot less bloating, which has been really great. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see kind of this next stage, what can happen. And obviously I did talk about my acne and how I want to clear it up because it's not gone and it should be. So she's putting me on a supplement that'll hopefully help that. I know this is a what I eat in a day, but I wanted to take you guys along to share all of this because so much of my diet has to do with visiting the naturopath now. Um, and so hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I definitely wanted to be like transparent and open about this experience because it's so new to me. Um, and it's nice to have someone tell me exactly like what might be causing my problems, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's like four o'clock now. I'm so hungry. I need to go home and have a smoothie. And I'm gonna go do that. And we're back. And I said in the car I was gonna make a smoothie, but I changed my mind and I'm actually gonna make an acai bowl and I'm gonna show you how I do it. These are the acai packs I use. They're from Sambazon. And I get the unsweetened ones. They just come like this. Very nice. Like so. Now, for some added nutrients that you will not be able to taste amongst all of the other delicious things in here, I like to add a heaping handful of spinach. I'm also gonna add in some kale because I'm trying to eat more greens and this is a great way to disguise it. I also like to add in my protein powder. My naturopath did say I need to up my proteins and healthy fats. Oh shoot. Um, so I'm adding like a mm, three quarters of a scoop of this. It's Vega Vanilla Protein, Protein and Greens. It tastes so good. I love this stuff so much. And then I'm also gonna use up my NeoCell Super Collagen. Um, again, just other healthy things to put in as a disguise. This is like pretty well done. Ooh, that was a lot. That's almost done. And then I like to add in some coconut milk and this is going to help blend everything together. You want your acai bowls to be pretty thick so I try my best not to add too much milk. It's definitely easier to add more milk than to add too much at the beginning and you can't really go back because then it's like pretty liquidy. So I like to start off with a smaller amount and then I'll just add more as I go. And then we blend. Does that everything? I think that's everything. I forgot. I like to add almond butter into it too. <laughs> I always forget. There's always something I forget. This is a pretty good consistency though, but the almond butter will help make it smoother. And this is the almond butter that I've been using. 
the smooth kind. And this is technically my lunch, but I'm adding in a lot of like healthy fat type of things because I want this to be like a substantial meal and keep me full for a while. And then for fruit to top it, I will pretty well take anything that's fresh. So right now I currently have strawberries, so I'm gonna cut up a couple of these to place on top. Now it's definitely not acai color, but that's because of all the greens that I added. So then for toppings, I like to add gluten-free granola. This one is by Kind, and this is the oats and honey clusters with toasted coconut. So good, and it is gluten-free, so I like to sprinkle a generous amount of this on. I also like to add in some chia seeds. These are really good for you, so it's nice to just get a few of those in. I also like to add goji berries. I love the texture of these, and they're really good on bowls like this. Add some nice color, too. Add our strawberries. And then because we're fancy, I like to add a slight drizzle of honey on top. Maybe. <laughs> it's not really drizzling. And that, my friends, is how I make my gluten-free, dairy-free, extra greens, and very delicious acai, acai bowl. And it's really good for the summer. So I'm gonna go eat this while I edit, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm gonna be the one running you through dinner, mix that dance currently, and this is kind of how we handle things for dinner when she goes to dance. I will completely make it for the both of us, and I might save mine until she gets off dance, might not, but she'll definitely be eating a little bit later tonight. What I'm gonna be preparing is a top sirloin steak with a, that's marinated in peppercorn. It has more flavor when it's pre-marinated and you don't have to worry about doing it yourself like the night before. For vegetables, uh, we're gonna be doing broccoli as well as asparagus. And for seasoning for the broccoli and asparagus, we're gonna be using the Tasty Savory. We like using the uh, Tasty brand of seasoning. It gives you like a nice blend of things and uh, we got a lot of flavor. It's tasty. What can I say? To start things off, I'm going to be setting the oven to 400 degrees for the asparagus. So now we're gonna prep the vegetables, starting off by cutting the asparagus. I also like to cut them in half, just to make them more bite-sized and easier to toss when we're adding the seasoning. Now I've added the broccoli and the asparagus to this bowl. First I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil to toss them in. And then I give them another toss. Woo! The seasoning really makes it smell like Italian food or lasagna, pizza, something like that. So we're gonna be throwing the asparagus in the oven, bottom right. So we're gonna be doing that for about 15 minutes. As you can see over here, we have the broccoli, which I'm going to be steaming. Should also take about 15 minutes. Boom. And the steak should only take about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wait for that to count down. meals. It's pretty much just time to go pick her up. So I think I will wait to eat with her. So we'll be back. Can you tell if something is... You can tell exactly the perfect lighting by looking at all the I'm back from dance and Connie made me dinner and I'm so excited. And he filmed it! Which is so good. He was saying how um, he doesn't, you know, obviously normally film things. Bye. By himself and so that was really I'm, I'm really proud and I'm really excited and I'm really excited to see the footage actually um, but yeah so we have asparagus broccoli and a, is this the little steak it's this little, little one, yeah. it is little um, but I'll give you some of mine. okay that's fine this is probably enough um, and then I also have some leftover mashed potatoes because potato is a vegetable and they're gluten-free so yeah 
All right, so we finished dinner and I wanted to quickly just show you guys a couple of the things that I've been enjoying as more snack items. I didn't really snack today, but I will reach for like fresh fruit and then these few things. Sometimes I'll have um, yogurt as a treat. And if I'm doing yogurt with granola and then some berries on top, similar to the acai bowl, but just with yogurt underneath, I've really been enjoying these silk yogurts. This one's peach. This one is the acai and berries. Both are really, really good. They are made with almond milk but they're very tasty so that's kind of like a desserty thing i will have sometimes if i'm craving something like chip these popcorners flourish veggie crisp harvest kale have been really great this is the costco size which is amazing um, but these are very tasty and pretty dang healthy for you and two other costco finds we actually found my favorite smart sweets which i'm sure you guys have heard of these candies i love the swedish fish ones the best and i did not know that they had them at costco and so this is a five pack which is really great so if i'm craving candy that's what i'll reach for but you guys these are one of our best costco finds ever and i'm really hesitant to share this with the world because i don't want other people to know that's how good they are these are the heavenly hunks hilarious name oatmeal dark chocolate gluten-free cookies they're vegan they're gluten-free and they are delicious one of the things i crave most when i am doing restrictive diets like this is like that cookie cake texture and i found it with this this bag is almost empty they come in little squares like this and they're like the perfect cookie size this is all you want when you're craving something and it has coconut in it and it's so so good and i just i love these so much we're definitely gonna have to go back to costco and pick up another bag of these because they are way too good they're just so soft and chewy and delicious so these are what i've been having as like a treat at the end of the day along with some of the other things it depends on like what i'm craving but this has been one of the things i reach for the most so good mmm Yum. So I think this is where I'm going to end this what I eat in a day video. The only thing I really didn't show you today was how much water I drank, which who really cares about that anyway. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you are also eating on an anti-inflammatory, gluten-free, dairy-free lifestyle, let me know what your favorite foods are down below if you're also eating this way. Like I said throughout the video, I've just noticed a really big difference when it comes to bloating and how I feel, my energy and stuff. So I do really like eating this way. As mentioned, I am going to start incorporating some other things because my whole like process of doing this is because I want to find my triggers and find out what foods cause me to bloat or cause me to have issues. And so once I'm able to know what that is, it'll make eating a lot easier. And so I can be aware of it if I am going to have it. Doesn't mean I'm never going to have those things because I could never give up all types of food, but I can for periods of time. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. And I am definitely going to be taking you guys along the rest of the journey of this naturopathic experience I'm on and kind of just keep you guys updated on my Instagram and through these videos. I think it's really helpful because again, this is something that's very new to me um, and it's been really interesting so far. So that's enough for this video. It's probably already so long. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed and you're made it to the end, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Noodle is scratching, it is almost his dinner time, but I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, bye.